I really believe that everybody has a uniqueness inside of them. You know, we talk and oftentimes about like, well, you've got greatness. You've got greatness inside of you. And, you know, as a man of faith, I, I believe that we have greatness because of because of God. I believe that there, there's, there's greatness in it because we were created by the greatest, right? But I think, unfortunately, the word greatness paralyzes men way too much, paralyzes women's way too much as well, too. Um, you know, if you talk to your kids, you're like, dude, you got greatness in you. And they're like, man, I, I, dad, I struggle to brush my teeth, right? <laughs> you know, like they don't, they can't relate to that. Mm. But when we can say, hey, listen, you've got a uniqueness about you that you can hone, that you can practice, that you can work on, and you can turn it into your greatness. Well, now we have a chance. Now we can have some direction. Now we can say, okay, I get it. You're right, dad, I am unique. Or mm. yeah, you're right, I am unique. There's something unique about me that's just a little bit different than everybody else, right? I am uniquely and wonderfully made. And I can turn that into greatness. And baseball was that for me. I had this uniqueness about me. I was, a, once again, a big fish in a very small pond. Well, that was a blessing. Because if I would have been in California, Texas, Colorado, it wouldn't have been nearly as, I wouldn't have been nearly as big and the pond would have been a lot bigger. So I was able to stand out. I was tall, I was lanky, I was left-handed, I could throw hard, I could hit a baseball. It just, it all made sense to me. But what I did with relentless pursuit was I perfected that. I turned that into my greatness. And because of that, I got to chase my dream for so much longer than anybody else. I got to chase that dream so for um, not as long as I wanted to or I had envisioned, but it was still an amazing ride now that I look back on it. And I'm so grateful for that opportunity because those lessons I learned have helped me and pushed me so that I never gave up on myself. Even though there were times or moments that I most certainly did, I never truly gave up on myself completely. I always had just this little shimmer of hope that there was something more.